small victory. So one of the things uh, to note about this matchup is that he, uh, a lot like Soul, he does a lot of damage off good hits. But the problem is that his uh, neutral is slightly worse, but he gets slightly more damage off some of the things that he gets to do. And secondly, is that he has a flash kick. He doesn't have a DP. So he can just charge uh, charge down and then press up for his for his uh, reversal, which is good because this character does a lot of left-right mix-ups. So you have the ability to uh, hold charge and then, you know, do a flash kick. Very good for this matchup, but all things considered, it's still in it's it's still in Chip's favor because he just maneuvers around the buttons of Leo so well. Uh, he actually just just moves around extremely well, so it's pretty it's pretty difficult for him. All things considered, however, it is one of those matchups where you know you get one hit, it could be it. Take a big risk on a DP and you get eaten up. Look at that one combo. That was a five K starter. That was prorated. Nice, got him out of there. Gamma Blade to keep himself safe. Gamma Blade Wire C, very, very good. Jumps out and then eats the 6P. That's one thing that uh, both Samito and Bears are both very good at, is that they're both good at uh, using 6P. It's, it got way buffed from AC, so it's definitely a good tool. Man, that AC video made me want to go over some old AC vids. I want to go find some like old uh, old AC footage of like some of my old favorite players. I don't know if history lesson is something that anybody wants to actually do. Yeah, me too. One. So he gets to jump in on the Gamma Blade. Gamma Blade has a lot of recovery, which is see so you, you see a lot of uh, people wire see it or do it. Make sure that they do it when they're blocked. So it got jumped. But he tried to go for a really, really greedy reset. And the reason why he went for this greedy reset... Oops, one more. The reason why he went for this greedy reset is that if he got the hit here, he was trying to go for a cross-up 5k. Or a back turn k. If he got this reset, he would have been able to probably combo into super and then would have maybe gone close to the kill. So it was a risk. I would have rather him gone for the knockdown, but it is what it is. Yeah, that's the thing is that you had. Uh, so the thing that they're talking about, or uh, Ryan Hunter's talking about, is that he has meters. So you can, you can PRC or uh, you can YRC uh, charge projectile, which is four hits, and then do a mix up off that, which is very very safe. It's a very very safe way to approach, and you've been able to still have meter enough for a super afterwards to tack on. So it was kind of weird. Six H six K out of nowhere, really. So you never, this is an overhead, but you never see this button. You only see it in, uh, you only see it in mortal or in uh, danger time because you can combo off it. Or if you have meter, because you can RC it for a full combo. You almost never see it in neutral like that. So it's just surprising. He just gets a hit. That's it. Just gets hits and plus frames. That's it. Gets a hit. Mr. K. 5H. Unfortunately, so it does have a decent air hit box. Uh, 5H does this, but he got hit on top of the head. The the decent hitbox, if I can scoot back to it. There it is. So this is a good button, but the problem is that the hitbox over is like over here. Next to the blade, not over his head. So he wasn't able to get anything off that. IAD confirmed, very nice. Oh, 2H counter hit. It hit him out of the air, though, and didn't have the jump cancel or the, uh, yeah, he didn't have the, what's it called? Why am I forgetting the term for it? Jump install. He didn't have the jump install, so he wasn't able to get it. So he got as much as he can out of it, and then the full combo as well. Remember when I said, remember when I told everybody, and I told literally everybody, that the chip buffs or the chip nerfs aren't going to be too big of a deal because... Chip players are going to come up with something even stupider. There you go. So, getting a different mix up. Remember, we were talking about all that time about how you can do TK Alpha Blade? He goes for just a regular Alpha Blade, Alpha Plus mix up or a, a hit because he hits him with 5H and he hits him at a good range where he can do Alpha Blade, Alpha Blade Plus, gets the knockdown. 
and then goes for the reset or the the Oki afterwards. Checks the teleport. You need to do that from time to time. Throw out buttons when you think he's gonna teleport cancel. And Samito, that's something we've seen from Samito throughout this entire tournament is that as soon as he gets hit, he's just like, nope, I'm good, thank you. I don't want to deal with this. YRC, chase him out of the air. OTG. Oh, what a safe setup. So, recognizing that... So, this was this was not a bad idea, right? So, he goes for this full combo. He OTGs in order to push him away. All right, so this is the first part of this. He does a mini dash up to fake that he's going to get into his face. And then he goes for a Gamma Blade. And the reason why he does this is because you can see the meter on the bottom of Leo's screen right here is 50%. Very common for Leo players to start his, their own pressure from defense using it this way. Because that way you're able to put on mix-ups and that's really what you want. So, nice fake. Gamma Blade doesn't even need to spend the YRC meter on it because he's recognized that it's whiff. The big X indicating he's mashing that RC. Really wants to not be in this position. Spends the uh, the California burst. That is a bad, bad burst. That's a California burst. Your California burst indicates a, a burst to try to make a comback. And uh, you definitely have a very small chance to make a comeback right there. Very small chance. Finds a jump in, no confirm, and Samito again. Remember when I said he doesn't want to be in this? He doesn't want to be in this place. He'll do anything to get out. This is one of those things. Gets in the corner, double jump, cling, teleport out. Very difficult for a character like Leo to to do because he doesn't have a run to deal with. I mean, look at the damage. Yes. Uh scoops so why was this so sick why was why was past sammy popping off so waits for a second chases down the back dash which is very smart and then gets all the damage off it right goes for out of back turn recognizes that this guy wants to get out of here by any means necessary and he's done this time and time again so I understand that this guy is not wanting to be here. So if he doesn't want to be here and he's in the corner, what are his options? Well, one, he doesn't have a burst. That's not an option. Two, he doesn't have any meter to RCDP. Not an option either. Three, doesn't have any wire C option to wire C backdash. All right, sick. So what does he do? He tries to double jump wall cling and then get out of the way. Well, good thing he has a DP that goes very high up and forward. Boom. Was it a DP? I don't think it was a DP. No, he caught a backdash. Took a risk on the backdash. So ba backdashes in this game have invincible frames. So if you went for something that had a uh, high recovery, low, low amount of... Um, Sorry. High recovery and low amount of active frames, then it would have been able to beat it and punish, or at least dodge it. So things like um, command grabs, uh, overheads are very common thing are very common in that uh, category. Throw invincible moves as well are, are very commonly decent on the active frames and high recovery. Catch them out of the air. Does have fifty percent meter, so you have to worry as your chip. Oi, there it is. Yeah, hellfire damage as well. Oh no, he messed something up. Oh, unfortunate OTG. That's that game. So when we were talking about this before, we were both looking. Uh, when me and Ryan were talking, we were like, we didn't really like how he was playing overall but that one moment in the corner was the mr k we were looking for this was the moment where we were like that's the guy that beat up kadako we need that guy so we had a sign that it existed and at this point we were like this is possible if we get to see that guy the guy who's whiffing two h's trying to look for that air counter hit 
input afterwards, you know, that's then he has a chance at this. But then Samito turning it up to 11 and a half. Nice block on the cross up, though. Earns the burst. A lot of weird movement here, right? So he gets the throw. Nice block on the cross up. Teleport. Recognize he did it too early. And he just backs away and then jump 2K. He just like bock dashes out of there. So Mr. K is, uh, gets a little bit fidgety and then tries to DP out. Oh my god. You never see that move. It is invincible because it is a boost or burst super boost. It is a invincible because it's a burst super. You just never see it. But that's more of that's more of the idea of you got to expect that this dude wants to get out. He's a chip player, man. He bleeds. He does not want to play defense. So you got to expect how he's going to do it, right? That DP right there, unexpected because of. Well, maybe you should expect it because he's been doing something every single time he's had uh, no meter, no burst, right? But this is the way that Chip plays. He make, he overwhelms you. He can, he can give you a, a lot of things to think about. Nice parry. Doesn't get the knockdown. That's such a big loss. Ugh, such a big loss. And you expect that with all the forward movement that you've gotten with the knockdown afterwards, he would have gotten 50%. He would have been able to do a setup afterwards. Or at least he would have been able to do a uh, projectile wire C for, for the safe setup. Just out of the corner. Double wire C catches him out of the air, but no conversion. So uh, moot point, all things considered. Yeah, one more time. Sucks, but uh, hey, that's the the power of Samito, man. He's so good. 